welcome to our channel wisdom coaching center by gulab sir as a part of series of lectures today's topic is cell membrane cell membrane is also known as unit membrane plasma membrane plasma lima even in neuron cell neurolima in muscle cell sarcolima there are many names it is a living membrane because it control total environment within the cell it is semi permeable as well as selectively permeable therefore it has total control over that content and component present inside and outside the cell so it depends upon the concentration and requirement of that substances which to be in and out influx and outflux of that cell is controlled by cell membrane therefore it is a living membrane so cell membrane is also known as unit membrane since it is the membrane of unit unit cell as a structural and functional unit of the living body therefore it is also known as unit membrane it is also known as plasma membrane because it can cover the plasma it cover the plasma therefore it is also known as plasma membrane it is also known as neurolima since it cover the membrane of the nervous tissue neurolima also known as sarcolima as a covering over muscle fiber therefore sarcolima so these are the various names that are being used depends upon the type of cell as a neurolima and sarcolima and this is on the basis of its function that it is a covering over unit membrane cell as a structural and functional unit and cover the plasma around and therefore plasma membrane now as a part of history that two scientists that robertson one who robertson one who proposed structure of cell membrane in 1959 he said that that bilipid layer is sandwiched between protein and he could not explain the permeability that selectively permeable and semi permeable structure of the cell therefore his structure is not accepted but later in 1972 nicholson and singer proposed a model in 1972 saying that bilipid layer is sandwich <coughs> protein protein layers are sandwich between bilipid layer that means proteins are outside and lipids are within so they proposed this in 1972 after the advent of or reform structure of electron microscope so it was found to be very very true correct and accepted so according to them cell membrane composed of lipid and protein that protein is sandwich in that bilipid layer how it is let us understand by this diagram <coughs> see these are the lipid <coughs> having head and tail these are the lipid bilipid layer their head that is called polar structure polar head is exposed outside of that membrane that means outside the cell and inside the cell that is outside of the membrane this is the membrane this outside structure this is outside structure so head is towards outside head is towards outside and tail is or tail are towards inside so here you can understand these are the head region and these are the tail region so head and tail so heads are head and these are tail so head is hydrophilic head is hydrophilic and tail are hydrophobic what this tail are hydrophobic because they are made up of long chain of saturated hydrocarbons because of saturated hydrocarbons they are impervious to the water therefore they are hydrophobic and they are non polar so 
this tail region are non polar and this head regions are polar please remember this word are very important as a part of knowledge which will help you to solve question in neat examination now this is about the arrangement of bilipid layer now how these proteins are arranged then so proteins are arranged they are either peripheral protein are present just exposing outside to the surface or integrated protein so they are completely hold by fully hold by lipid layer or tightly hold by lipid layer so they are present inside the lipid membrane so by lipid so here these are the layers of lipids that hold this structure within so <coughs> this is the integral protein and these are the peripheral protein so no about so peripheral protein and integral protein now this peripheral protein function as a carrier protein to carry the molecule across the membrane and integral protein also help to carry water and water soluble compound across it now this in addition to this bi lipid layer and protein sandwiched between bi lipid layer also consist of glycolipids that means carbohydrates attached with this lipids that is glycolipids and these lipids which are present inside this membrane are almost all phosphoglycerides they are phosphoglycerides if i note here as a point to be remember that lipid present in the membrane are phospho phosphoglycerides so this has to be remember as a need and <coughs> in addition to this somewhere in between molecules of cholesterol also present inside the membrane so glycolipids phospholipids cholesterol and proteins peripheral protein integral protein is a composite structure formed by these components or these substances so cell membrane is made up of this all molecules together now this cell membrane is semi permeable as well as selectively permeable that means it allow the content according to the requirement of the cells and their concentration within the cells so influx and outflux is occur by means of diffusion three steps diffusion facilitated diffusion osmosis and active transport so these are the three means diffusion osmosis active transport diffusion can be facilitated diffusion as there is a special protein which facilitate transport of content which is insoluble in water and insoluble in fat through this facilitated protein that facility protein present in membrane from its higher concentration to the lower concentration therefore it is diffusion but with the help of special protein present in membrane diffusion is simply to transfer something across the membrane from its higher concentration to lower concentration facilitated is also diffusion but with the facility that protein present in membrane allow to transfer substances which are insoluble in fat and has hydrophilic moiety osmosis that substances are transferred across the membrane from low solute concentration to its high solute concentration or part of low solute concentration to part of high solute concentration across the membrane is known as osmosis and active transport that is for example sodium potassium pump present in membrane that they are the polar molecules they are the polar molecules required energy to transfer against their concentration gradient so In, with the involvement of atm molecule so you can understand this diffusion is the diffusion of substances which are neutral in they are not positively charged or negatively charged they are neutral molecule they diffuse across the membrane 
from their higher concentration to lower concentration but those substances which are ionic so against their concentration gradient if they are supposed to absorb involvement of energy is required so carrier protein or sodium potassium pump across the membrane they help to transfer the sodium and potassium against their concentration gradient with the help of energy called active transport so cell membrane is a living membrane because it has semi permeability and selectively permeability what does this mean these are the two properties selectively permeable and semi permeable what does selectively permeable means selective permeability it depends upon the concentration of that substance that selectively ions are being diffuse in and diffuse out with the involvement of energy that is they transfer in and transfer out influx and outflow of ion is being decided by cell membrane and therefore it is called selectively permeable so membrane is selectively permeable for a specific ion which is supposed to be required in the cell whose concentration is less and they are required to the cell semi permeability is according to the concentration so depend upon the concentration of that molecule here depend upon the requirement of that ions and here depend upon the concentration of the molecule so semi permeable semi permeability so content and component are selectively permeable inside and outside with semi permeability according to the concentration present within therefore these two characteristic provide cell membrane as a living membrane so cell membrane is living membrane because of these two properties now to understand that cell membrane is a covering membrane over animal cell but in plant cell it is covered by cell wall cell wall is fully membrane permeable therefore cell wall has no concern with maintenance of internal environment since it is fully permeable cell membrane has to decide that content and component which has to be influx and outflux so therefore cell membrane is living membrane so other organelle membrane are also made up of cell membrane tonoplast of vacuole nuclear envelope of nucleus and membrane of other organelles either they are single or double in chloroplast and mitochondria as well as nucleus it is double membrane in rest of the other organelles it is single membrane so the thickness of this membrane is thickness of the membrane is thickness of cell membrane is 6200 armstrong armstrong is a unit it is a 10 billion time of meter that is so minus 10 10 to the power minus 10 meter part that is the 10 billion part of the meter is 1 armstrong so 6200 armstrong in some book it is given 75 to 100 armstrong so it can be taken as a valid since this 75 to 100 it is given in your book so this is the thickness of the cell membrane so membrane of organelles and cell membrane has same thickness and composition also same but in vacuole it is called as tonoplast in nucleus it is called as nuclear envelope mitochondria and chloroplast they are double membrane so outer membrane and inner membrane both membranes are made up of lipid and protein as we know that mitochondria and chloroplast they are prokaryotic cells they are autonomous organelles because they carry out their own function on their own and they reproduce on their own therefore we have to consider as a part of cell membrane their membrane is also made up of lipid and protein is a selectively and semi permeable membrane maintaining homeostasis of mitochondria and chloroplast although they present within the cell so that is a membrane organelles within the membrane system so <coughs> mitochondria and chloroplast also has the same composition now as a part of syllabus that this question in board can be as per how you mark explain detail structure of cell membrane with label diagram or explain structure of cell membrane or what is fluid mosaic model explain it with label diagram or explain the structure of cell membrane given by nicholson and singer so which structure that they have given fluid mosaic model this is also known as fluid mosaic model of nicholson and singer 
in neat question can be asked the components of cell membrane set of components of cell membrane what we have to remember in addition to all these we used to forget about cholesterol so cholesterol glycolipid phospholipids they are the components of the cell membrane what are integral protein those which are present within the cell membrane although they are small size and they get in between that bilipid layer but they have major role to have the transport across the membrane they are also called as carrier protein now some of this protein which are present at the peripheral part or embedded in they are also called as acceptor protein so in animal cell there are protein which are acceptor protein because hormones those hormones except steroid hormones peptide and amide hormones they have receptor in cell membrane because these hormones they cannot move across the membrane but they are received by that receptor protein and therefore that proteins are called as receptor protein in the membrane so here we shall we we did understand entire structure of the cell membrane with this diagram so as a part of syllabus you should know how to draw the diagram so this is very simple way to draw the diagram in examination this is very clear that these bilipid layers having hydrophobic and hydrophilic hydrophobic hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail hydrophilic is a hydrophilic is a polar head and hydrophilic is is a non polar tail so here i have clearly mentioned polar and non polar that is very important and because of this non polar this is semi permeable and selectively permeable because this non polar is impervious to the water and won't allow to pass polar molecule across the membrane to pass that polar molecule remember please the word polar molecules they cannot pass through this non polar tail therefore they have to pass through the special carrier protein by using atp so active transport of molecule will occur through this membrane because of this non polar tail since they won't allow to pass polar molecule across the membrane without involvement of carrier protein and atp molecule or active transport here we did understand structure of cell in detail i hope that you did understand if you are in doubt you can ask in comment section for detail study you can join offline or online i appeal you to like our channel by subscribing it and by pressing bell icon you will be notified time to time when new videos will be uploaded thank you